got the uh, treadmill on a very steep angle so we can kind of uh, cover the device. It's going to climb up. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to run it around the bar so everyone can see there are no strings attached. Now I'm going to do a uh, countdown where I lift the uh, device off the treadmill and we're going to see how long it coats. So there it is running. Lift it off. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, something like that. I'm going to restart it. And if it runs for longer than that seven Mississippi on this dread steep hill, there's no way the kinetic energy in the device is causing the, uh, the power output. So, where are we? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. Now you, you're holding it back with the spork. Eight Mississippi. Yeah, I'm keeping it from coming forward. Otherwise, it'll climb right up the top of the treadmill. Now I'm going to push it down a little bit. It's going to start coming back up. And i got to stop it. It's going to come off the end of the treadmill. Once you come over here and you can kind of see what I'm doing with the uh, spork, I'm just steering it. It's not perfect steering. Now, is that a magic spork? Yes, it's a magic spork. And it violates most or all of the laws of physics. Anytime I give it a little push when I'm steering it, I can push it back down. It'll come right back at me. Now it's still going on that kinetic energy that is yeah, stored the, up. Exactly. The kinetic energy caused by the spinning propeller is still causing this thing to climb the treadmill. Whoa, it almost came off the top. And it'll pretty much do that until we stop paying our power bill. <laughs> exactly. We can do this a lot longer than Steve can tell us it can't be done. Let's put it that way. Good enough? All right.